good afternoon students so we have started the topic geographic information system so in the last class we have discussed about different types of coordinate system and they are projected coordinate system and geographic coordinate system okay and this geographic coordinate system is a three dimensional coordinate system and projected coordinate system is a two dimensional coordinate system okay so today we can discuss about map projections okay so map projection means it is the transformation of spherical earth into a plane surface that is the process of transforming spherical earth into a map is known as map projection that is we are projecting the features on the three dimensional globe or three dimensional earth surface into a two dimensional map that transformation of globe into map is known as map projection okay so he here we are converting the 3d uh, structure into a 2d structure so that is known as map projection so a map projection is a systematic transformation of the latitude and longitudes of location on surface of a sphere into locations on a plane okay so uh, we have discussed in the last class uh, that is on the earth there are uh, lines they are known as latitude and longitude so we are transforming during this map projection process we are transforming this latitude and longitude of uh, locations on surface of sphere or earth into locations on a plane the plane means that will be a map and transformation from earth surface to a flat surface always involve distortion either in shape size or lety location so the fono map projection is perfect that is when we are transforming the earth surface into that is when we are transforming the three dimensional surface into a two dimensional surface we cannot uh, reproduce uh, in a perfect manner so there will be always a distortion either in the case of shape or either distortion of size or either distortion of uh, location direction etc we cannot produce uh, in a perfect manner okay so it is a two dimensional representation of three dimensional earth that is known as map projection two dimensional representation of the three dimensional earth okay so uh, there are three kinds of developable projection surface that is we can project the uh, globe into three kinds of developable projection surfaces they are cylinder cone and plane that is we can project our three dimensional earth into a cylinder or cone or a plane so when we are uh, when we are uh, projecting our globe into a cylinder first we are placing our globe into the cylinder like this okay then uh, we are transforming all the features on this earth on this cylinder then unwrap this cylinder so this uh, three dimensional globe is uh, projected into this two dimensional cylindrical surface okay so this we can discuss later so based on this uh, developable projection surface we can uh, classify map projection as cylindrical projection conical projection and planar projection if the projected surface is cylinder it is cylindrical if it is con conical projection it is planar projection so this is known as map projection we are converting our three dimensional earth or globe into this two dimensional map so that process is known as map projection when transforming a spherical earth into a map the following distortions occurs that is as i have told when we are transforming our three dimensional earth into a uh, map two dimensional map we cannot produce it as a perfect manner there will be always a distortion so distortion will be a distortion in area or distortion in shape distortion in distance or distortion in direction so uh, any kind of distortion will occur for any type of map projection so these are the different types of distortion which are occurring during the transformation of earth into a map so this uh, this uh, this is the graphical representation of the uh, distortion that is uh, distortion of shape means uh, the distortion occurs like this and area means area may increase or decrease and distance may increase or decrease like this then angle uh, for uh, if the angle is perpendicular in the case of earth or three dimensional globe when we are projecting into a two dimensional uh, space it may be distorted like this okay so these are the different types of uh, distortions uh, during our map projection then classification of map projection map projection is classified based on different criteria first one uh, using method of construction it is classified as perspective and non perspective so it is not much important and this is very important that is based on development surface 
the map projection is classified as cylindrical conical and zenithal or planar that we have discussed that is based on the developable surface if it is cylindrical if the developable surface is cylinder it is cylindrical if it is con conical if it is plane it is planar or zenithal then based on projection properties that is which property we are confirm uh, we are uh, uh, maintaining during transformation it is classified as conformal equiria equidistance okay then based on position of light it is classified as mnemonic orthographic and stereographic okay, so we can discuss one by one then uh, this is the same that is based on uh, developable surface it will be cylindrical projection conical projection azimuthal or planar these are the examples for cylindrical projection tangent case secant case that is we can project as uh, tangent case and also uh, i will explain it later then this is the uh, classification second classification based on uh, properties which are maintained during transformation that is conformal equilateral equidistance uh, azimuthal then these are same as our previous slide okay this is the uh, general classification and here first one sec this two are very important that is based on development surface and based on projection properties so that is here based on development surface and based on projection properties or global properties then other two are not much important based on method of deviation and based on location of light source these are not much important uh, classification so first we can uh, discuss about the classification of map projection based on development surface okay a fundamental projection classification is based on the type of projection surface on to which the globe is conceptually projected so this is the fundamental projection classification based on the development surface and the projections are described in terms of placing a gigantic surface in contact with the earth following any implied scaling operation and the surfaces on which we are projecting our globe are cylinder that is cylindrical then cone so it is known as conic projection and if that uh, surface is plane it is known as azimuthal or planar and the example of uh, cylindrical map projection is mercator projection and for conic it is uh, albers projection and for planar or azimuthal it is stereographic projection so these are the three types of map projection based on nature of projection surface that is conical projection cylindrical projection planar projection based on the surface on which we are projecting our globe so first one conic projection so conic projection yields straight uh, that is i will explain the figure so this is the conic projection that is we are placing our globe into this uh, con conical surface and projecting all the features on uh, on the all the features of uh, our globe onto this con and we are unwrapping the con and we will get two dimensional surface like this okay so this is the final result of our conical projection that is this is the con we are placing our globe inside this con and projecting the features of uh, this uh, globe onto this con and we are unwrapping or we are cutting uh, uh, for example we are cutting the con from here and unwrap or open it like this so this will be the features we are getting okay so here in the case of earth we have explained these are these are known as meridians these lines are known as meridians and these are parallel lines okay okay so when we are projecting uh, our globe into uh, like this what will happen what is the shape of this meridians Meri this uh, these lines are known as meridians that i have explained in last class meridians so this meridians will be a, a straight line we are, uh, which is converging converging to this point okay and our parallels these are known as parallels so what what will be the uh, variation of parallels during this map projection this parallels will be appear as uh, arc as arc okay these these are parallels and these are the meridians so during map projection or during conic projection it yields straight meridians that converge towards a single point at the poles and these parallels that form concentric arcs okay so when we are transforming uh, our globe onto a con this is the variation of our meridian and uh, parallels these are known as parallels so uh, this parallels will become uh, this this line this is parallel line so this is known this is this is in the form of arc and these are the meridians okay so when we are projecting these are the meridians meridians are uh, converging to a to the polar region converging to our pole okay converging to a single point 
okay so this is very important that is during transformation what what all changes are occurring for meridians and parallels so in the case of conic projections meridians will be straight line which is converging to a point and the parallels will appear as a uh, arc okay so that is a very important that is meridian straight meridians that converge towards a single point at the poles and parallels that form concentric arcs and conic projection is fan shaped characterized by an upside down cone over the sphere and conic projections are uh, at true scale along standard parallels be between the equator and the pole that is uh, the this is known as standard parallel so these are parallel lines and the points were where the cone is touching that parallel is known as standard parallel so at this standard parallel the variation of scale is least okay so since it is touching on the uh, standard parallel variation of or distortion uh, is minimum or least uh, along the standard parallels okay so these are the properties of conic projection okay remember one thing that is during conic transformation uh, our meridians are straight line which is converging to the pole and parallels are uh, concentric arcs okay next is cylindrical projection okay so cylindrical uh, so what will be the properties during cylindrical uh, projection so here we are placing the globe into the cylinder and transforming all the uh, features uh, of this globe into the cylinder and unwrap the cylinder so the parallels and uh, since it is rectangle correct rectangle all the parallels and uh, meridians will be perpendicular lines straight lines okay so this is the case of cylinder but in as uh, since in the uh, in the previous one since it is in conical shape the meridians are converging to a point but here the meridians are straight line and parallels are also straight which is perpendicular to this meridian so here this is the uh, transformation of our transformation of our meridian and parallels okay so cylindrical map projection are made by projecting from the globe into the surface of an enclosing cylinder and thus unwrapping the cylinder to make a flat surface that is a procedure and uh, cylindrical projection yield straight meridians and parallels that intersects at right angles okay so here their are uh, meridians are straight and parallels both are perpendicular and the cylindrical projection mostly used for tropical zones and cylindrical projections are at true scales along central meridians and standard parallels that is uh, along the central meridian so along the central meridian central meridian is touching the cylinder so along this point the scale is true scale that is distortion is minimum okay so in all projections the point where it is touching the surface the uh, deviation or scale uh, or distortion will be least so the scale will be true scale along that point then all cylindrical projections are equidistant along central meridian and standard parallels so along central meridian and standard parallels the, the distortion will be minimum so this is the cylindrical projection so here the variation of meridian and uh, parallels are like this uh, the meridians are uh, straight lines and parallels are perpendicular to this meridians okay so this is the cylindrical projection these are meridians and this is the parallel both are perpendicular okay cylindrical projection okay that is uh, here tangent at selected lines means this is the uh, point where it is touching the uh, touching our developable surface so uh, distortion is least along this line here it is touching a two point okay this line and along this line so here uh, along these two points the scale will be true scale so this is the different positions of cylindrical projection normal position transverse this uh, cylinder is placed like this and oblique that is cylinder is placed like this then third one is planar projection or azimuthal projection and this planar projection is also known as azimuthal because uh, every planar projection preserves the property of azimuthality that is direction from one or two points on all the all uh, and uh, to all other points on the map that is it preserves the property of direction direction is same and this planar projection mostly used for polar zones okay because we are placing our uh, our planar surface on the pole so uh, it will maintain the properties of uh, the polar area as a true scale so it is used uh, mostly used for our polar zones and polar projections more better describe the circular regions than rectangular regions okay 
and the properties during uh, the properties of uh, meridians and uh, parallels are like this that is planar projection yield meridians that are straight and convergent but the parallels are concentric circles that is here we are placing our plan plane uh, at the pole okay and transforming the properties uh, all the features of uh, our earth on this plane and uh, we are placing like this so here these are the straight meridians so meridians are converging from our polar region a straight line and these parallels are concentric circles okay meridians that are straight and convergent parallels form concentric circles right here it is not in the form of arcs but in the previous one that is in the conic projection the parallels are uh, in the form of arc but here since it is uh, projecting like this that is these are the parallels so these parallel lines are projected on this plane so it will be in the form of uh, concentric circles in the form of circle and these are the meridian lines meridians so when these meridians are projecting on this plane it will be straight uh, lines which are uh, converging to the pole okay so these are the uh, properties of meridians and uh, parallels during the planar projection okay so this uh, these are meridians which is converging from pole uh, then this uh, uh, so these are concentric circles are the uh, parallels so these are the three different types of uh, map projection based on developable surface okay so other two classification i will explain next class thank you